Our next topic is thermodynamics, and the most important thing we're going to talk about in thermo is entropy, abbreviated with a capital S. Entropy you can think of as randomness. Technically that's not the real definition of entropy, but for this level, if you think about randomness, you'll get the right answer for entropy. There's a Boltzmann formula that gives you the entropy of a system that's equal to K, the Boltzmann constant, times the natural log of W, where W is the number of ways you have of, of obtaining a certain state, which is a lot easier to see with a certain example. So let's say we had a glass container with two sides, the left side and the right side, and we put in four gas particles. State A is all four particles end up on the left side after we open up the gate between the left side and the right side. So what's important to calculate for the entropy is how many ways can we end up with all four particles being on the left. So particle number one, number two, number three, and number four end up on the left. This is the only way of making that state A. So W is equal to 1. If we calculate the entropy using the Boltzmann formula, K times the natural log of 1, the natural log of 1 is 0, so the entropy is 0. So in terms of randomness, this is very ordered. Having all four particles end up on the left side has 0 value for the entropy. If we do this for state B, which is all four particles end up on the right side of the container, there's still only one way to get to that point. So the entropy is equal. So in other words, if you did this experiment and open up the gate between the left side and the right side and came back after an hour, and if you obtained state A or state B, both of them would be equally likely because they both have the same value for the entropy. They're both equally random. State C is, we do the same experiment, but this time we end up with two particles on the left and two particles on the right. So there's a lot more ways of obtaining this result. For example, particle 1 and 2 could be on the left, and 3 and 4 could be on the right. 1 and 2 could be on the right, and 3 and 4 could be on the left. And you can work through all of the possibilities. What you're going to come up with is six different ways to come up with this state. So if you calculate the entropy, k times the natural log of w, if you plug in 6 for w, you get an answer 2.47 times 10 to the negative 23rd joules per Kelvin, which is a small number, but it's still bigger than zero. So the entropy of state C was bigger than the entropy of state A or state B, because both of those were zero, that means that state C is more likely to occur. Putting four particles into this setup and opening the gate between the sides, it's unlikely that all four particles end up on the left or all four, four particles end up on the right, it's more, much more likely that two particles will be on the left and two will be on the right. If you did this with a real sample of gas, you would have a lot more particles, and you're going to find the largest value of the entropy is found when half the particles are on the left and half the particles are on the right, which makes sense. If you did this experiment, Think about a gas moving randomly in the containers. It's going to end up, most likely, with half the particles being on the left and half the particles being on the right. When you obtain a state with a larger value of s, that's the more likely state. It's not impossible for all the particles to end up on one side, but it's very unlikely.